Hi everyone, my name is Lizzie Rowlands and I am the course team leader for music at Long Road Sixth Form College. Um, and I'm going to spend just a few minutes now talking to you about the course um, and what it's like to study music at Long Road. So the course that we study is the Extended Certificate in Music Performance. That's a BTEC Level 3 qualification. Um, in Year 1, we study two units. And the first of those units that we look at is Unit 5. Uh, not Unit 1, because um, we prefer to start with a practical unit, and that's what this is. The um, letters GLH that you can see there on the screen um, stand for Guided Learning Hours. So that means that for this unit, you would be expected to spend 60 hours um, with your teacher preparing for that unit. It's an internally set unit, which means that I set all of the work and uh, it's also internally assessed, which means that I mark all of the work um, and then it's moderated um, both within the department and then externally as well. So in this unit, Session Styles, we learn about different styles of popular music. Um, we learn about a really wide variety of styles, everything from blues and jazz uh, through different um, world music styles, um, Caribbean music, uh, for example, other Latin American styles. Uh, we go to rap, um, pop, basically every popular music style that you can think of, we will touch on at some point during this unit. Um, you'll be given songs to rehearse as part of a band, and then you'll create cover versions of songs in different styles to show that you really understand the way that those styles are created. And that unit culminates in our spring sessions performance evening when each of those ensembles gives a performance of the cover versions that they have created. Um, a, a, a great feeling of a, of a gig night and an opportunity for you to really show off all of the work that you've done um, up until that point. I really enjoy studying music at Long Road as it's really different to my other subjects which are quite heavy handed but music is a way to like express my creative side and it involves practical work as well so it's like the kind of thing that I like inside and outside of college which is quite different to some of my other subjects and also I feel like the people who take music are all really similar because obviously they've taken music in the first place so everyone gets on really well it's like a really nice class because Lizzie the teacher is really nice and gets on with all of us and I really like the lessons because they're all very mixed up like we'll do unit two on Mondays and then unit five on Wednesdays and Thursdays so it's all mixed up and there's always different things going on in the lessons in each week. in year one we look at a unit called professional practice in the music industry um, and this is a unit where you are given the opportunity to look at the music industry in all of its breadth so this is a slightly bigger unit it's worth more of the course as a whole um, we spend 90 guided learning hours on this unit and it's an external unit so that means that the work that we do on this unit is both externally set and it is externally marked so during the course of the unit, we explore all of the different roles within the music industry. Um, and we also then um, finish the unit by um, completing an examined project, um, which is um, a, a project which is undertaken in exam conditions. You're given a brief from the industry, a scenario, and you have to write a project plan um, talking about how you would approach that brief. So um, we look about look at the legal elements of the music industry. We look at health and safety, insurance, copyright. We also look at the different jobs that you might be able to access in the music industry. Um, and we look at the creativity and the transferable skills that you develop um, as a musician. Uh, so I enjoy studying music at Long Road because I know that everything I learn will come in handy for me in my future career path. 
my favorite part about the course is probably practicals or like practicing songs with other students and performing them um the lessons are really good as well the teachers are really encouraging so everything is explained quite well i'm never left in the dark about anything and if so i can ask questions and get that sorted when it comes to performance opportunities we have things like open mic and choir so there's like space for us to grow as a whole like as a class as well um also they bring in people from different areas that know more about certain things so for example they brought in university like leaders to tell us about where we could go for university regarding music and that really helps because that when i get to that stage where i want to pick it will become easier because i've been given options already so yeah i would really like recommend the course amen in jesus name yes i declare it any little seed i receive i have to share it brothers wanna break me down i can't bear it but heavy is the head with the crown i still wear it you can't hold me down i still cope rain falling down in the bricks i'm still soaked try put a hole in a ship we built boats two birds with one stone i kill both prayer never lose i pray i never hit the shelf promise if i do that you'll be checking on my health if it's for my people i'll do anything to help if i do it out of love it's not to benefit myself oh gotta stay around and make a comeback too i know my only mother wants a son back too I say I'm on the voice of the young black youth And then I say yeah cool and then I bum my suit And now I'm Searching every corner of my mind Then we move into year two And again it's another two units in year two uh, The first of those is another practical unit So that's unit three Ensemble performance And this is another external unit this is the biggest unit of the entire two-year course so it's 120 guided learning hours um, and it's a mandatory unit which means that the exam board say that we have to study it uh, it's externally set and it's externally assessed the exam board will send us a set list and as a band you will have to pick three songs from that set list and rehearse and perform them as an ensemble and in a style of your choice. So if you're a group that likes playing folk music, you could pick three songs that, that aren't originally folk songs, but you could play them in a folk style. Uh, if you're a band that likes heavy rock, you could pick three songs from the list and play them in a heavy rock style, as long as um, you are sticking to the songs that you have been given, uh, you can perform them in any style that you like. And there are five tasks to complete as part of that unit. Your recorded rehearsal, your rehearsal debrief, so they both take place halfway through the rehearsal process. Um, I record you in a rehearsal and then I interview you afterwards about how you think that rehearsal went. Then you have to give your performance, you have to give a presentation where you talk about how you changed the styles of the songs that you chose, and then you have to write a critical review. That's a two hour exam where you have to write about um, everything that you did as part of that process, right from choosing the songs up until the performance and an evaluation of how the performance went. So my favourite part of the music course at Long Road are probably the performance sections that we do. Um, at the start of the year, we did do quite a lot of them. And they are, I just really, really enjoyed them. Before coming to Long Road, I, I wasn't really too keen on performing, but um, I've literally got so close with everyone in the class and we all get along so, so well. And yeah, I just really, really do enjoy performing now. Um, as I said, there are quite a lot of um, opportunities at the start of the year. We do, I think, a performance maybe every week or every two weeks. Um, and it is really, really good, especially good for confidence building as well. Unit one, um, is the final unit. Again, it's 90 guided learning hours. Again, it's mandatory, so you have to study this unit. Um, but this is internally set and it's internally assessed. Um, note the, what the title of this unit, Practical Theory and Harmony. We are learning the theory of music, but we're doing it through our practical music work. So you're going to learn about how to notate, but not just staff notation. You're going to learn about how to best communicate your music with um, the other people that you're performing with. Um, and that isn't necessarily always staff notation. So we're also going to learn about tap. We're going to learn about chord symbols and chord sheets, lead sheets, uh, graphic scores, 
all of the different methods that you could use to communicate your music in a written form. Um, and then we're going to look not just at how you can communicate your music with others, but also how you can interpret music that has been given to you in different uh, written styles. So I enjoy studying music at Long Road, firstly because the teaching is so good, it's so encouraging and supportive. And also I have made a range of friends, I feel like we've all bonded over something we love and my class has a range of personalities but we all fit really well together. Um, I also like that there's a whole unit um, based on the professional side of music, so a lot of the time at GCSE we were just learning about the styles and theory. And I didn't really know much about jobs and music, I just know about being a singer, being a celebrity and stuff. But here I've learned about being a producer, etc. There's a whole range of jobs. So if I want to go into university, there's a lot of stuff I can be doing. It's not just singing and writing music. Um, I also enjoy how we do a lot of ensemble work, especially at the start of the year. Firstly, because um, at GCSE it was more about solos and stuff, but doing the ensemble, I think it's so key if you want to carry on doing music after college, at uni, or have a job. I feel like you need to know how to um, work in an ensemble group, but also it's boosted my confidence a lot. I was not very confident at performing, but doing a lot of ensemble group um, work in different groups boosted my confidence so much, and we did a performance around Christmas time, which obviously I was a bit more nervous for, but... We did it in a group and I it's boosted my confidence so much. Um, even if I don't go and study music um, at university, I feel like music's taught me a range of skills. So what can you do apart from the course? What is there that you can get involved in in the music department as a whole? Well, we have lots of different workshops and trips during the year that support the course. So uh, we have um, instrumental specialists coming into the college and giving uh, masterclasses and workshops. So if you're a guitarist, then you and the other guitarists on the course could have a masterclass or a workshop with a visiting uh, guitar specialist and so on, depending on your instrument. Um, we have visiting speakers from across the music industry coming in to speak to us. We have um, representatives from um, PRS, the Performing Rights Society. Uh, we've had uh, visiting freelance uh, musicians talking about the way in which they work um, in different areas of the music industry and also we've been out to, to different performance venues um, and also to universities um, to find out the courses that they offer that you could progress onto once you've finished at Long Road. Um, we have lots of different ensembles that we uh, run um, they rehearse every week and they perform at various points during the year. So we have a college choir, which all music students are encouraged to participate in. Uh, we have a pit band, which changes every year, depending on the instrumentalists that we have and the styles of music that people want to work in. Um, and we're always open to starting new ensembles, depending on which musicians join us each September. I enjoy studying music at Long Road because there are lots of different elements to the course, like we do a lot of practical stuff. There's also some written bits about the, you learn about the music industry itself. Um, and my favourite part about the course is being able to play in different groups, um, learning about the different styles and genres there are, um, which I've never done before. Uh, teachers are really nice and helpful. Um, and there are also many performance opportunities like we had a main Christmas concert which was really good and there's also regular open mic sessions which you can play or sing or even listen to. Um, one experience I really enjoyed was when BIM University came to talk to us and they brought a band who were really inspiring and we got to listen to them and they talked about how you could like have a career in music, which was really helpful. open mic session 
Uh, that's open to all the students in the college, not just music students. Um, and it's an opportunity for um, any singer, songwriters um, or bands who perform other people's music to um, take the stage and to perform to um, different people from within the college um, to practice and hone those performance skills and learn really what it is to um, perform um, in front of other people. Um, we have three main performance evenings during the course of the year. We have our Christmas concert, we have the spring sessions that I've already mentioned, and we also have the summer showcase. The Christmas concert is just music students. The spring sessions is um, an opportunity for us to assess your work on Unit 5. Um, but the summer showcase is really special because it's when all of the performing arts courses come together to um, perform uh, the work that they've been looking at across the course of the year. So we have performances not just from music, but also from drama and from musical theatre as well. Music has been a really enjoyable course for me and I've learned many things. Favourite parts of the course, I must say, have been able to perform uh, in groups and work with fellow classmates. Uh, the teachers have been really helpful, um, always willing to help, and have got lots of knowledge. Uh, one of the best enrichment opportunities um, would be the Christmas concert, which happens every year, and also uh, the open mic, which happens every half term. Welcome to your life. There's no time in Even while we sleep, we will find you waiting on your bed. So, progression what could you do after Long Road? Well, uh, the extended certificate is uh, worth the equivalent to one A-level, which means that um, you will get equivalent UCAS points. So you'd get the same UCAS points for getting a distinction in this course as you would for getting an A in an A-level course. Um, so when you've added up all of your points across the year, that will give you an idea of which music courses or universities you could uh, progress to. And people from Long Road, um, music students from Long Road, have gone on to um, study music at both university and at music college, but it also gives access to apprenticeships or industry roles. Uh, most recently, our students have moved on to BIM, which is the British and Irish Institute for Modern Music, on their various degree courses. They offer a really wide variety of um, music degree courses and they also have a very impressive list of alumni that you could look at. Um, Bath Spa, their BA Honours course in commercial music has proved very popular with our students recently. Um, also the commercial music course at Canterbury Christchurch University. Um, but it's not just music courses that our students move on to. Um, we've recently had students who have gone on to study law at Bristol University and at uh, York University as well. Um, and students who are going on to do um, computing, maths courses, a really wide range of courses. So don't think that just because you're studying a music course, you are only qualified to move on to studying music. Um, it, music is a course that opens up a whole load of options for you when it comes to progression. I'm not necessarily looking for a career in music. However, the university BIM came in and talked to us a bit more about the music courses that they offer. And it actually did spark an interest for me. So I am now considering maybe doing music um, as I carry on with my career, but I'm not too sure. But uh, Long Road has provided me with a lot of opportunities and ha has given me all the information that I need um, when moving on to my next choices in life. Uh, so I hope that that has proved useful and I look forward to meeting you all soon.